Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will learn about the another template guard that is nothing but ng template context guard. In the previous video, we have learned about the ng template guard for writing the template guards for the input properties. Now, this is the ng template context guard. So, for example, let's try when you are having an ng for condition or something like that. So, there will be a context inside this template. So, uh, we have already discussed when we are trying to learn about the template expressions. Now, I will try to show you. So now what is this ng template context card? So declares a custom type for the context of your custom directive. So if you need to provide a context to our custom directive, we can ensure it is properly typed in the template using the static function. ng template custom card, context card. It works like a TypeScript type guard function and returns a type predicate. Let's, let's we'll try to look at a following example to have a better understanding about this concept. For example, let's say that I will be creating a new one that is nothing but demo directive so just i will try to create a demo directive so that we can have a clear idea about this one so let it create so now a demo directive has been created let's try to go to the demo.directive.ts sorry so here i will be creating demo.directive.ts so now this is our directive let's try to import the uh, template ref and also the uh, template ref and also the uh, this one so here i will be importing the private template ref okay so before this one so we will have a context now for this context creation what we will try to have it is so here let's say that we have a demo url inter demo url okay and in this demo url let's say that we will be having a url of type string and a video of type boolean that's it so this is the interface so let's try to export this interface so this is our demo url it's a video url and a video or not and we also have a demo context interface demo context so in this demo context what we will try to have is so we can take an implicit which is a default value so this one will be of type number and we can have another one that is nothing but demo of type string and we have an url demo url that is nothing but which we have mentioned it so this is the context which we will try to set it when we are uh, looping over this one so now here the demo context so private template and this one is a template ref and this should be a template reference and the data we will be sending is a demo context that's it and here we will be having a private private view container of type view container ref so here the template ref so it, it takes the data of something like demo context so this is the context which we will be writing in the template so fine so now we have mentioned this constructor and all the other thing so it will it will send you to two inputs that is nothing but input and here you will be having an app demo of type string okay uh, app demo of type string and the another one so let's, let's try to keep it as a mandatory and this input also will take it as an yeah that's it and also you will have an added input and here you will be having a app demo url and this one also of type demo url that is nothing but which you are trying to send it this demo url so that's it so now now here let's try to create ng on it so now when this one has been created okay ng on in it when this one has been created so we need to create a context so const constant context is equal to and this is of type dollar implicit so we are having this different scenarios right dollar implicit here the context will be of type demo context you can also mention this one as demo context also if you want so now dollar implicit so it should be of type one so let's say to think of this one as a version or the default value actually implicit holds the default value so this dot dem app demo and the last one is the url url is means this dot app demo url that's it so now we have mentioned this cap demo context and we need we will be sending this demo context to the view container this dot view container dot create not a component create embed view of this dot template ref and also the context we are sending the context that's it so now we need to tell that we template context got we can tell that 
so here we don't know about the context right so let's say that we don't know about the context and now we are telling the context what is the type of context so here you can mention this one as a static ng template context god okay so context god you will be mentioning it like this and here this is an assertion function so you need to assertion function so you will be returning the true and now here the context is the context is nothing but the demo context okay so that's it and here this will take the two things that is nothing but directive of type demo directive okay and the last one is a context so which is of type unknown so we don't know about this one so unknown that's it so now we have mentioned it like this and i am returning the truth that means the card demo context is the context is always the demo context that's it so now if you try to use this one so how we can use this one is let's go into the app component.ts file so let's import this demo directive okay so demo directive this is pretty straightforward only so constant demo url of type demo url okay is equal to and here you need to have an url that can be anything http www.example.com so whichever you want you can do it and the another one is video of type true and also we can have another one is a constant string also we need to send it right demo string is equal to something like demo string i will use something like this one only so that's it so now if you want to use this one so here you can add it in such a way that do and here you need to use star app demo is equal to we need to pass the demo string and also what we need to pass we need to pass the url also url of type demo url okay and that's it so now if you try to see here and here you can write um, so this is the context or something like that you can use it now if you try to see here so you will be able to see this is the context now so this one will return a context as i already told you right so this one will return a context that is nothing but implicit demo url this is all the context and that context is nothing but a demo context now here if you try to uh, if you want to get this one means so implicit you can also directly get it like with one variable so let's say i am taking version so there is no need to mention what is this one so like dollar implicit okay why because it is a by default implicit is by default so you can use this version now here if you want to use this one means so how can I implement this is directly i can use due version and uh, and you can use it as a version here so directly i can use it so now you will be able to see the version is as one so fine we are able to get the version and now if you want to get the another one is nothing but uh, app component at sorry demo directive.ts i want to get this demo means so here i can use something like uh, semicolon let demo is equal to demo okay so that is a demo so here if you want to use this demo means so you will be getting the demo string so whatever the modified string or something like that so this demo you can use it like this now you will be able to see the demo as one right so now here you will be able to see the demo string and now here this one also you will be able to see it is a string and here you can have an another variable also that is nothing but let url is equal to um, i don't know what is the name we have mentioned it here there uh, url only right so here you can use the url is equal to url that's it oh sorry let url is equal to url that's it so now here the url will be of type demo url so the now the editor can be able to know what is the type of data we are getting now here i can mention this as url dot so now you will be able to get this all the data so now here the prediction will be correct why because the context we are able to know we have defined the context god here so that what is the type of context we are trying to send it and what is the type of context must ensure what is the type of context we need to send it all these things we have mentioned in the ng template context card so this is how we can mention the type so we can we can explicitly narrow the context type also in the sectional directory using the ng template context guard so this is all about the different types of template guards available in the angular that which will be used in the structural directories these are very much useful when we are try in order to remove these all compile time errors hope you understood about this ng template context card so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you